Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Danielle and today I have a keto friendly snack haul. But this is going to be a little out of the ordinary. I get a lot of comments and messages about how people would really love to do keto but they just feel that it's very expensive and they can't really fit this way of eating into their financial budget each month. And I completely understand that. Um, when I first started keto I felt the same exact way. Uh, so I went and got some snacks because you know, I feel like you could always shop the deals for like meats and stuff like that. I feel like the snacks, like the little other things are what really, the little things are what bulk up your grocery bill. So I went to the Dollar Tree. Before the keto, please come for me. Obviously I know these aren't hard, like high quality, whole foods type deals, but if you're trying to be successful on keto, but you're also on a pretty tight budget, then let them live. Let your girl live because you know, whatever we don't we our money tree in the backyard is obviously not blooming this month or whatever okay so I went ahead I went to the Dollar Tree I found some good snacks easy snacks stuff you can throw in your bag keep in your car bring to work bring to the with the kids running around the neighborhood whatever wherever you're going you could bring them with you all right so let's go ahead and jump into it all right so I got a big old bag right here all right, I'm just going to be reaching in. First things first is the ever popular pork rinds. Um, these are zero carbs. Let me try to see if I can get. All right, you can see the macros. Obviously, they have protein in them. That Don't even count that protein because it's not real. You know, it's basically just fat and um, no carbs. Uh, you can do these. I do them a variety of ways. I will make like a sour cream and like... Um, What's the name of that buffalo sauce? I like Frank sauce, the Frank's buffalo, or even just regular hot sauce. I mix it together and I dip in there. You can do it with guacamole. You could have them on their own. You can put some lime and hot sauce on them, whatever. You can make nachos with these. You could just have them as is. Um, so these are the plain ones. These are zero carbs. If you did the barbecue ones that they have at the Dollar Tree, those are one carb per serving. Watch your labels. Always read your labels just because one brand is a certain carb count doesn't mean another brand will be as well. Okay, so that is one of the snacks. I found uh, this Johnsonville bacon jerky. This is one carb for the whole package. So that's what we're looking at here. This would be great just if you were, you know, in between stores and you were starting to get hungry and the kids were, you know, had some snacks for the kids, but you wanted something. This is great. So here are the macros for that. One car for the whole package. I like when it's just the serving size is the whole package. And you already know. I, I like that having the guesswork. Next thing I found was some cheese sticks. Cheese sticks are pretty carb friendly. Um, you know, again, cheese is very how do you people have a lot of comments on dairy and cheese while on the keto diet that's on them like I said this is just for something who are people on a budget who are on the go hey you're staying on your keto you're watching your macros and you know you're feeding yourself so anyways these are less than one carb for one piece so if you wanted to have like a cheese stick with a pack of bacon jerky that would be that would fill you up if you have like a water and that would fill you up for probably a good amount of time because that's a lot of fat and that's an easy snack just to have with you these two things I was really excited to find because I've heard a lot about these, but they sell them at Target at my house, but they were pretty pricey, but I found them at the Dollar Tree. These are the, oh snap, I think these are the Hottie Bites. Yeah, these are the hot pickles. Um, they're not, you have to watch with the brine. If you get pickles that are in brine, they will have carbs in them. So watch that. I didn't know that until, you know, recently. So this is no brine added. Great for on the go snacking. So you keep these ones in the refrigerator, they're fat free, gluten free, made with non-GMO cucumbers. So these are zero carbs, zero fat, zero protein, and just a little snack. A little snack. A little sister snack. A little snack snack. Looking like a snack. <laughs> My kids are listening. I thought that was funny. But anyways. No snack. Snack sound day. Alright. Here's another thing I found. This is the Zero Sugar Country Thyme Pink Lemonade. These are, okay, zero carbs, zero fats, zero proteins for a half a pack. So um, I guess it's zero for the whole thing. Anyways, 
These are just a little drop-in for your drinks. If you guys been with me for a while, you know that I was sadly disappointed when I was making the big like Walmart punches and they were like 30 carbs or something in a fruit pack. But I'm not saying to have these all the time. I know Mio is the best one, but if you don't want to pay $4 for the little thing, then, you know, obviously here's a buck. You can do this one. Whatever. Get your water in maybe once in a while. All right. Let's see. Okay. Here's another thing. Mostly all nuts are keto friendly, okay? So you have to watch your carb count. As with everything, the thing is, too, about any type of nut is it's really high in fat and because they are so easy just to kind of snack on and you can probably finish this whole thing before you blink your eye um, you can really go over your fat macros that is kind of the love-hate relationship I have with like these types of things almonds pistachios peanuts any of those things because I can just take them by the handfuls and eat them and not even realize I ate the whole thing like in here there's seven servings with seven times 15 Okay, so if you eat the whole thing of these, it's 105 grams of fat. I could eat that. I mean, I don't know if I'm the only one, and then there's, but there's only seven grams of carbs in the whole thing. So, you see? You see how that goes? It's just, it's weird. But anyways, um, yeah, so there's a total of four carbs and three fiber. So yeah, four carbs, three fiber, so one net carb. Um, serving size is about 28 grams, one ounce. So yeah, it's a good amount, but it's, you know, if you go ahead and you just, you know, I mean, whatever, if you're gonna, it's just an easy snack. Grab a few, toss them back, have some with some fat-free pickles, and you know, you're all good. But yeah, and these are a buck. I feel like nuts are always expensive. I mean, these probably aren't, you know, Costco version, but they good. They will do the job. Okay, so here is the last thing. I'm probably sure this is gonna be super controversial and people are gonna come for me right now. I've never, I don't drink any of these drinks. I've never had them before, but I seen it. I was intrigued. Um, yeah, so like I said, there's probably something in here that's horrible and people are gonna be like, that's gonna kill you, Danielle. Don't tell people to drink that. I'm not telling you to drink it. I'm just saying I found it at the Dollar Tree and it has low carbs. You know, do what you want. Anyways, it is the Rockstar Zero um, Silver Ice. So it is zero fat, one carb for the whole can and zero protein. Um, yeah, it's an energy drink. Um, yeah, so I got this for a buck. I did, one second. I did run to the vitamin shop while I was at the Dollar Tree, like right after the Dollar Tree, and I picked up one of these Bang drinks. Obviously, I think this was like two fifty. dollars that one was a dollar. Um, my girl Lauren, shout out to Lauren Brazy. If you guys don't follow my girl, you need to. Love you, boo. Um, she, like, goes hard for these, so I'm like, you know what, let me try them, because I was there and... I was looking for some snacks. And let me just side note, keto is so trendy right now. Like they have their own aisle in the vitamin store. When I started keto like two years ago, no one knew who it was and people were convinced I was trying to kill myself. Now it has its own aisle in the vitamin shop and it's hella pricey. Like you can get a keto protein for like $60 and I was like, no thanks, I'll pass. But okay, so comparing, contrasting, what do they have here? This has, okay, the bang has zero fat, zero carbs, zero protein, uh, vitamin C in there. They have, okay, the bang is vitamin C, vitamin B6, niacin, vitamin B12, and magnesium. All right, and the other one, first off, this is bigger too. Um, and the other one, it's 150% of that niacin. And this one's only 25%. B6, 150%. This one's only 25%. B12 is 150%. And this one, this one's only 25%. Pantotoric, pantothenic acid is 150%. I don't know what that is. So this one has 1,500, wait, 180 milligrams of caffeine. Damn, Bang has 300 milligrams of caffeine. This is equal to more than two cups of coffee. Okay, this is a pre-workout for show. What does this equal to? Total caffeine from all sources, 180 milligrams per cap. Yeah, this isn't a lot of caffeine at all. This one, this one will get you started. But anyways, yeah, so I picked this up. So there you go. I wanted to go ahead and share these with you. These are snacks that I would eat, you know, I do, but I do follow 
strict keto. I have been doing that since I started intermittent fasting. I did want to touch on that real quick. Intermittent fasting, I feel, has completely changed the keto game for me um, because I like the idea that I have a window of eating. All right, I'm eating from this time to this time, and that's it. You know, I don't have to worry about late night snacks or anything like that. I'm done eating after my time. I'm done. That's it. I don't have to worry about tracking. If I'm, it's like 9 o'clock at night and I'm laying on the couch having a snack, I'm like, oh shit, I didn't track this. So it, it really makes it easier. It alleviates a lot of stress and pressure for me. Um, I feel really good while doing it. The first couple days, I hated it. I was like, I'm starving myself. Why am I doing this? This is ridiculous. But as I got into it, I've been fine, okay? Um, strict keto, I just like the idea. I'm, I'm way more conscious of what I'm eating, what I'm putting in my mouth, and stuff like that. So I'm allocating for everything. I'm watching my serving sizes. It's just easier for me. Um, I'm not saying that, you know, I did lazy keto and it didn't work because I was being lazy and I wasn't watching my portion sizes and I was just eating and I was going over my macros. So um, now I'm just, you know, I'm in it to win it. 2019, taking care of business, you know, all that, all that stuff, all that stuff, you know, new year, new me. Sure. And uh, what is it? Monday at 12, or is it Tuesday? Tuesday at 12.01, new year, new me. Okay. All right, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Hopefully you guys have found some inspiration. If you guys wanna see um, more snacks from different stores, let me know down below. And if you guys have tried either one of these drinks, let me know, what do you think? I mean, are one is one better than the other? What's going on with those? But all right, I will check in with you guys later. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Danielle, and we do a little bit of everything around here. And um, I hope you guys stick around and chill with me. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Bye, guys.